Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 615. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college reset link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 615 to 622. In this trick here, we have some terms box, knife, hardboard. And we have products. We sell uh, different box products. Box 2, box 99, 5 boxes package, box small. Same with knife. So you could imagine if you have a box store or a knife store, uh, you could summarize by individual product, right? Box 99, and then that'd be the criteria. But our goal here is to summarize all the products that have the word box. So our criteria is going to come from this column. Our numbers are going to come from this column. And we need to do an approximate criteria match. So we're going to do this using wild cards, right? Because we could say, hey, uh, sum if, please add up all the um, items box over here and then add this column. But we don't get an exact match. But we could say, put an asterisk right here. Asterisk is a wild card that means at least one character before and after, and that we'll find anything in this column that has the word box. I'm going to do equal sum if. The range for criteria. I still get confused by this um, screen tip, but I always remember, oh, look at the N for sum if. Sum range. Oh, oh, that's the one with the numbers to add. So this much must mean the criteria. I'm going to click right there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 comma, and our criteria. Now, we can't just go um, asterisk box asterisk um, like that. We're actually going to have to join three things. The first wild card, the word box in this cell, and the second a wild card. So I'm going to, in double quotes, asterisk, in double quote, ampersand is Shift 7. That's the join symbol right here. So now we got Right now, it would just be uh, the word box and any any time it has characters before it. But we want both after or before. So I'm going to ampersand, double quote, asterisk, uh, double quote. There's our criteria. And if you evaluate this, highlight it, and hit F9, you can see, sure enough, it gives us just what we want. Criteria for sum if and count if and whatnot always have to have their criteria in quotes, except for numbers. Control Z comma, and our sum range is simply that, Control shift down arrow F4. Close parentheses, Control enter So double click and send it down. And that is what our formula should look like right there. Now, that's the way I do it. I like doing it th that way. Um, there are some other ways. We could do use the search. By the way, you can just turn off the video. That's that's a pretty good way there. I don't. I wouldn't do it this way, but just to show you, there's other ways. Search can actually look for a partial text string within a larger text string. So we say, hey, search, find what? Box, and that's a relative cell reference within. And this is going to be an array because we're going to highlight more than one cell. And I'm going to hit the F4. Now I'm going to close parentheses and just evaluate this and see what it um, looks like. F9 to evaluate and see it gives me the starting position. It found box in the first character, 1, 1, 1. Oh, and there's a 3 down here, 5 boxes, 1, 2, 3. So box is in here somewhere, but it starts at the third character. Now what are we going to do with those? Controls. We're going to convert those numbers to trues and falses. Control Z. I'm going to say is number. Now we just get trues and falses, right? F9, true for every time it sees a cell with a box, Control Z. I need to uh, convert those to ones and zeros. So I'm going to put a double negative, And then, of course, we can see F9. Now we have that. Now we need to multiply that range of zeros and ones times this column, Control Z. I'm going to use the sum product, because we need to multiply and then add sum product. The first array is that fancy way of getting ones and zeros. I'm going to put a comma. The second array right there, I just highlight this column. Close parentheses. So that formula right there, Control Enter. Even though we have an array, sum product can handle array, so you don't have to do Control Shift Enter, just Control Enter. So that formula looks like that. I like this one much better. All right, we'll see you next trick.